3-1, bounces off the dirt. Coleman fired up just to get on base. And Jennings fouled off a couple that were not able to be caught. This one is, and she is retired. 2-0 to Lee, finds a gap into right field. Of the six-time national champs. Hansen has it caught, and Gallagher over at second, able to get out number two. Sanders swings, and the runners waste no time. Hard hit, ball down the line. Coleman comes through, Lee follows suit, and the suitors take the lead. Sid Sanders, watch how tight she keeps her hands. This is a pitch on the inner half of the plate. She's able to keep her hands in, but get her barrel through enough to keep the ball fair. This is what Oklahoma does. They know how to perform that base running. That allowed Oklahoma to get two runs. Pop up to right. Jackson has it, and that will end the inning. Leading that charge, if she can find a way on. Hits it over to Lyons at shortstop, and the three-time Big 12. In the two spot in the lineup, they're really a, a, a dynamic duo in the one-two spot. Looked like she went, and she did. Well inside, both players going for it. Somehow, Hanson keeps that in her glove. Sunshine here today in the 70s as Brito hits it to Laird for out number one. Bat. Could be over in one pitch, and it is. Turn to Lauren Krings and give her the ball in this situation. She's going to let her defense go to work and get three up, three down. With a lot of quality opponents. And the message was, well, we know we're not going to host, but let's see if we can get to the postseason. Lions on top of it for out number two. By the way, we'll face the winner of that Clemson Regional in Supers. Gallagher. Hits it to Jennings, and it's another three up, three down. Quick inning, just six. That pitch does miss low, so Coleman walks for the second time. Up, up. Back in the first. Coleman was on the move. She'll have to go back as this one is caught by Honnold out in center. She'll have another hit in this game, and Coleman is on the signal to come on home the throw won't even be made as jada coleman speeds around the base pass well, we've seen this twice today opposite field hitting from Haley lee and not just opposite field hitting but with power as she drives in her legs gets this ball all the way to the fence and that leadoff walk that lauren krings gave up to jada coleman things when they have a ton of momentum they can put up runs in a hurry hansen see ya speaking of getting runs in a hurry Kinsey Hansen smacks one over the fence for two more. The ball as well, and swinging as confident as Kinsey Hansen here in Norman. This pitch left too much over the plate. Hansen knew it the moment it left the bat. Oklahoma made impressive. And Oklahoma, as Sanders is retired. Well, it's a good way to finish the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeout. Ball. Got it. A little bit of a delayed call from our home plate umpire. But game one yesterday. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Get the job done. You're thinking too much instead of just reacting. Swing. One, two, three. Alyssa Brito leading off 
the inning with a hit. Erickson went down for it, and then Brito had to leap over the ball. The team last year had a three-run home run in game two of the champ series, and she comes through here with a hit. Is excitable. Jada Coleman with runners on the corners. Runner is going to second, and she overslid. That actually might have been an opportunity to tag. But Gallagher, this game in danger of ending early in the next inning. Pop ball, and now the throw home. It's a great throw! And Missouri takes one away. He's done the last few years for Mizzou. She is patient and will take the walk. That is the first walk. There's the strikeout call. Up over the glove of Ball, and then it is off the glove of Lions. Two. Hit in the dirt, Laird waiting to see where it goes. The throw to first, and the runner will go to second, but Laird has to hang out at third. And there it is. Missouri threatens. They walk, they hit, but they cannot score. On Sunday, to go to a Super Regional. Good start once again to the inning. Single and a double. Laird, gold glove shortstop, trying to work two, not quite. Schumacher has to field her position and does for out number two. The state transfer. Sitting with some good defense. This ball pops away, the runner's coming home and the battery cannot make the play. Crenshaw tossed it back to Schumacher, but not in time. Into the plate, goes straight in, beats the ball. And this is an Oklahoma team that the mid. Sanders, oh my, that one is over the scoreboard and gone. Connect with one and watch Sid Sanders. Drop the bat immediately. Every hitter out there knows when you are on time and connect and have that type of power, this ball goes into Home Run Village. Home Run Village is pumped about it. They can't, and here they sit down seven. This should end the inning and does, so Oklahoma will have to settle for, for the Sooners. Torres has come in out in right field, and Gallagher will have to sit. Lions on top of it. Two down. Jackson pops it up. Boone in from the outfield to make the grab. And that will do it for inning number five. Presented on the wall in the outfield here at Marita Hines Field. Brito hits it to Laird for out number one of the six. They're on those two championship runs the last couple years can do. She wants to see how these players handle the postseason stage. Well, Torres has herself another hit. Okay. A Pullman spot would be on deck. Boone chops it out into center. And that will bring up the home run leader for the Oklahoma Sooners. And she will take the walk. Bases loaded. He's at the plate for Oklahoma. Doesn't waste any time. This will just be a long out. It will get another run across. So not just a long out. Ooh, that one got away from her. And she won't get it. Walks in the run.
Walker as well did not get a hit, so she comes in looking for one and gets it. One pitch was all she needed to get a hit and score two more. How about that for the redshirt senior? It continues. Oklahoma showing you their depth from the bench. This pitch is inside. It's a little inside out swing. But Green has enough power to get it to the outfield. She was ready to swing that time, but didn't make contact. And now the Tigers end the inning. Another full count pitch, and Snyder got stuck, but swing. Just turning the line up over for the third time. Another strikeout, this time looking in that club, in that group. Alex Honnold pops it up, and game over. Sooners on their way to the regional final with their 45th consecutive win.